Not only as soon as we're over one alien conspiracy, we're straight into another with a jellyfish UFO supposedly being captured on camera over a military base in Iraq. I know it sounds crazy and I know exactly what it sounds like, but when you watch the footage, you're not going to believe your eyes. This video was posted 12 hours ago, 13 hours ago, sorry, by uh, News Nation, who obviously were the kind of catalysts for the David Grush story. They were the, um, the, the pioneers for him whistleblowing aliens to begin with. So it's only fitting that they should be the ones to kind of end up breaking this story. But... Here's the footage, here's the uh, News Nation clip, gives a little bit of context about location and things like that, but let's take a little look at it. Okay, I know, I know, I know, this is a show about true crime and mystery, but tonight I've got a story that's not so much true crime, but it blows the lid off mystery. Um, a video allegedly taken at a US military base in Iraq in 2018, just released by a journalist named Jeremy Corbell, who claims that it was buried by the intelligence community. Look at this. He calls this thing, uh, whatever craft it is, jellyfish. You can see why, because it floats with like dangling appendages. Um, the footage was shot at night, and I'm quoting that they used thermographic forward-looking infrared imagery. But interestingly, the object could not be seen with regular night vision gear. And some of the troops who were at the base weren't even aware it was up there. Uh, others were told to hunt it down. And the coolest part of it all is that it switches colors. It goes from this dark to like, almost invisible and see-through and white um, as it glides, indicating that that should be a temperature change more than likely from hot to cold to hot to cold. And then it just disappears into a body of water for 17 straight minutes until pew, it re-emerges and shoots off into the sky at a rate of speed that was so high it couldn't be documented with the technology we actually have here on Earth. What? So Corbell claims that the... Uh, the jellyfish, a similar kind of thing just like this, was seen at a nuclear facility too, moving between silos and shooting off at a 45 degree angle. And he shared this footage on social media. You should know that News Nation has not independently verified the authenticity of either of these videos and the Pentagon has not confirmed or even commented on them. So that's why I called Nick Pope, spent his career investigating UFOs for the UK Ministry of Defense, and he's just great at this stuff. So. First of all, Nick, what do you make of this whole temperature, color change, and then also this transmedium capabilities of going in and out of the water and the air? Well, the change in color, which normally could represent a temperature change, may be an artifact of the, the camera and the system. We don't know uh, yet what this is. We, we just it, There are so many pieces of the puzzle that have yet to be confirmed. This is very early days. So I don't want to say about the temperature change. Um, and, and again, with the transmedium travel so far, the only bit of this video that I've seen is, is the bit that you're showing now. I have yet to see the, the part where it apparently goes into the water and comes out. But if, if that is what people are saying it is, that is, is certainly something to watch. And it's one of these so-called uh, five observables, this apparent ability to move seamlessly between water and air that we hear about. And, and that is noteworthy for sure, if it's verified. Right. OK, P perfect. Thank you for that. Um, and first of all, we don't have the video yet of the water dive. But the part about being verified, how do you vet this stuff? How does one go about vetting this kind of video? Well, I think the first thing is obviously to ask the uh, Department of Defense. And, and I think News Nation have an inquiry in. I actually uh, reached out to public affairs myself earlier, and they said they would get back to me on that. So I think, I think they're burning the midnight oil at the Pentagon tonight. Look, Jeremy Corbell does have a proven track record of um, bringing forward uh, footage and still photographs that do turn out to be genuine. So, so I'm, I'm betting that this is going to be the real deal. But as I say, there are still pieces of the puzzle we don't have. And, and I think this is going to be a test. Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick, who, who was the director of the Pentagon's Arrow unit, stepped down at the end of last year. His uh, deputy, Timothy Phillips, is in place. This is a big test for him. How's he going to respond to this. Uh, I, I think we want this. Uh, Congress wants information about this sort of thing, not from independent filmmakers, but from the Pentagon. 
Yeah, I agree. And I can't wait to have you back when you get the answers that you're getting, because I think we're all racing to get the same answers. So, Nick, I'm, keep your phone handy. I'm going to call you back. Thanks for this tonight. Thank you. Now, that obviously was incredibly interesting footage right there, because it is mind-boggling to view that, especially so close after we've just um, had the whole Miami Mall alien supposed documentation come out. But I was uh, kind of scouting about on the internet and TikTok obviously was the place that I go to because everybody's on TikTok talking about this stuff. It's going absolutely ham, ham over there. But apparently this jellyfish UAP is not, this isn't the first time that this has been captured. Obviously there was footage from Jeremy Corbell back in 2018, but the same uh, craft was actually captured in Poland as well. Take a little look at this clip that I managed to stumble across, which is incredibly clear. Tell me what you think. So obviously those crafts are strikingly similar with very similar features um, and moving in a very unusual way, very streamlined, very um, very fluent almost. There's no turbulence whatsoever, there's no motion really in it apart from just forward, uh, which, you know, strikes it as a very intriguing craft. Now, to back up the claim that this has obviously been going on for a long, long time, I managed to find another video um, of someone who kind of goes deep into uh, this whole topic and talks about the jellyfish UFOs. So another day and another crazy UFO story. So 2024 is shaping up to be pretty fun. So today we're going to talk about Jeremy Corbell's video he dropped last night of the um, jellyfish UFO. So this is super interesting. Not just this video, which I'll put up here so you can see it, and we'll talk about it in just a minute, but because jellyfish UFOs have been seen for hundreds of years and described in all sorts of different cultures. And there's something interesting I want to talk about of why they're kind of shaped like this. So you'll see in this video, it's it's kind of shaped, they call it a jellyfish because it kind of seems to have like a, a center like head type thing with these tentacles. But the tentacles were described by people on the ground um, as being like armor plated and very rigid, almost like like arms, you know, remember the Matrix? This is so crazy. Remember the Matrix, those, those things that would, those like snake-like octopus type things? Um, the arms were like these pinchers and they would go through the ships and everything. That's what this looks like. So a brief background on this video is this was shot in 2008 in Mosul, Iraq during the, the war. And this is where also the Mosul Orb was shot. So there's definitely UFOs at war sites. We see this all the time at disasters and the war zones and that kind of stuff. But so this thing was kind of floating through Mosul. And um, this was a weapons platform, like a, an infrared camera that shot this. So this is all like reversed, you know, um, it's night, basically infrared. So anyways, they, they called down to the people down there and they said, hey, we're seeing this thing floating around. Like, can y'all, you know, get eyes on it? And they were kind of blown away because this is a weapon system. So you'll see in the video that there's like a little thing in the middle where it locks on and it locks on to anything. Evidently, it's a super advanced and can lock on to anything no matter how small no matter how fast it's moving and it couldn't lock onto this thing okay almost like it wasn't there it wasn't physically there so it couldn't lock onto it and they're like okay this is weird so they called to the ground they're like hey can anybody help us get you know eyes on this thing nobody could see it they put on night vision they couldn't see it 
So several of these weapon systems were able to detect it and get this video. And they said several different nations, different countries, because remember, this is the war, so we had kind of a coalition. Different country systems were able to, to see this thing, but no one could lock onto it. And then evidently, it was floating around like this, and it went off, off into the water, and he has video of that too. He doesn't have video of it going into the water, but evidently it went down into the water and was down there for like 15 minutes or something, and then came out of the water and then blasted off at a 45-degree angle into space. Now, what's super interesting about the jellyfish UFOs is, okay, so they have these like tentacle things that hang down and evidently they're like armor plated and they're like geometric, right? They're not like, um, you know, like an octopus um, arms or like a jellyfish tentacle. They're more rigid, like, you know, mechanical. So a famous um, jellyfish UFO sighting was in Japan and it was like this um, rancher who had had like uh, lots of different cattle mutilations happen. And he saw it. He was outside, and he saw it. And I don't remember the exact details. I'll look up the story, but it's super interesting. I remember researching it a long time ago. And um, so he heard, like, his dogs barking like crazy, and he went outside, and he saw this, like, jellyfish UFO thing over his cattle. And he got the distinct impression that it was there to, like, abduct his cattle. And he had had cattle mutilations before. And then, oh, yeah, I just remembered a part of the story. Um, one of his cows was, like, injured. Like, it was laying on its side, and it was all, you know, like, broken legs and stuff. And people have talked about this before, about after cattle mutilations, it almost seems as if the cattle is like dropped from the sky and like their legs are broken, that kind of stuff. And so the crazy thing is, so imagine, a, you know, we've, we've all seen those like cliche things where like, you know, the UFOs come and like the cattle, like the cows, just and you know, we make stickers of them and t-shirts and stuff like people being abducted. And it's usually like this light beam that like, you know, comes down and teleports the thing up. Well, the crazy thing is, so these jellyfish UFOs seem to have these like arms, these mechanical tentacles. And they're not seen by the by the you know the eye. The human eye can't see them, right? This thing that caught this one in Mosul um, that we're watching the video of was done through this infrared weapon system. It wasn't the eyes. And when humans went to try to see what it was seeing, they couldn't see it. So imagine if this thing was to grab a cow and pick it up. We would just see the cow levitating, right? We just see it floating in the air, right? But something has grabbed it. So this thing is invisible to the to the human eye, but it's there. It's it's physically there, right? It's just invisible to us. And it seems like these arms, this is my theory, I don't know, these arms could be for like picking things up, like cattle mutilations and abductions and that kind of stuff, right? Who knows? Um, but that would make sense why we see things floating sometimes up into the air, but we don't see the thing that we think is just being levitated, you know, maybe through like some sort of laser beam or something, but it could just be these jellyfish things picking things up. Now, these jellyfish things have also been seen at nuclear sites, right? There's testimony from people that work at these nuclear um, sites where these jellyfish UFOs were seen like going in between silos and doing crazy things. So what does all, all this mean? I don't know, just like all of this. I don't know what it means, but Jeremy Corbell released this saying that this is a official government video that they got this in 2008 and that they were sitting on it because they didn't know what to do with it and it basically just got buried, right? And that several different countries have you know similar things of the same type um, UFO or UAP, whatever you want to call it. I know people are saying this is just floating balloons and that stuff, but you know, you can see in this video when it goes from like light to black, that's this uh, it's a temperature reading. So um, black is hot, white is cold, and it's like changing temperature, it seems, which is odd. Um, you know, if it was a balloon, it's moving at a good clip. If it was a balloon, those little tentacle things would be flowing and flapping and moving. They don't ever move, right? They're very rigid. And that's what the, the people that were watching it, like through these, these sensors and everything, were saying that it didn't really change shape. You could see the individual like tentacles of sorts, but they didn't move really. So it's very interesting, <laughs> you know what I mean? Obviously, um, you know, I think these might be related to the orbs that everyone's seeing. It seems to be some sort of like this this detection security device on Earth, you know, that's just kind of roaming around, you know, patrolling and doing different things, um, like drones, basically. So, I don't know. What do you guys think of this new um, video? And, um, you know, share all your thoughts. I love reading them. Have a great day. Peace. So, what do you think? Is it all linked? Are the Miami aliens and this sudden re resurgence of this clip all linked? I mean, I don't know. Obviously, it's this clip has got a lot of traction probably off the back of the Miami aliens um, situation. Um, it probably would have still got traction had that not happened, but because alien is such a buzzword on the internet at the minute, um, I think this, this, this is just really like rocketed to the top. But what do you guys think? Is it all linked? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, be sure to jump together, hell out of that like button, subscribe if you are new, and tickle my little bell so you get notified whenever we upload. And until next time, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed, and I'll speak to you later. Peace.